Hello there. Greetings in Jesus' precious name. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day. Light for your daily path. This is episode 609. Our topic today is stay on course. Stay on course. And this is part 15. Our Bible reference is taken from God's word in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 11. Friends, as we continue our discussion about staying on course, staying on track, I want us to reinforce and reemphasize the value of hard work. Friends, hard work is a fundamental principle emphasized throughout scriptures. Scripture reminds us in Proverbs 14, verse 23, that all hard work brings a profit, but mere talk only leads to poverty. Hard work pays. Diligence pays. Consistent work pays. If you do the work, you will get rewarded. You will be rewarded. There are no shortcuts to true honor. According to today's Bible text, a hard worker has plenty of food, but the person who chases fantasies has no sense. As we apply our hearts to wisdom, as we stay focused on our purpose and commit to daily putting in the needed work, nothing we desire will be withheld from us. God is committed to blessing those who work hard. There will be obstacles, friends. There will be discouragement. There will be doubters at various points. And things may not always go as you desire. But with hard work and patience, there are no limits to how high you can go. Someday, you will be proud of yourself for staying the course even when you felt like giving it all up. You'll be proud of yourself for staying the course. Always be encouraged by this counsel in Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Let us not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessings if we don't give up. Here is our task for today. Take some time to meditate on God's word. In Proverbs chapter 21, verse 25, take some time to meditate on Proverbs 21, verse 25. Pay close attention to the wisdom push for today, today's declaration, and our daily Bible reading, the day meditation, and the night meditation. The Lord bless you richly in Jesus' precious name. Hi there. The most beautiful and profitable decision a person can make is the decision to allow Jesus lead their lives. This decision is what we make when we open our hearts to Jesus. We don't just give him our lives. We receive his life. Maybe as you hear me right now, you have not made this beautiful decision yet. You haven't said yes to Jesus. Today is an amazing day to do this. You will not regret it. A new chapter will be opened in your life from this decision. Just say these words after me. Dear Father, I come to you today. I recognize you are a good father. Thank you for loving me in spite of everything. Today, I respond to your love. I receive your life. And I ask that you become King and Lord of my heart. From today, I will serve and live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Congratulations, you have made the most important decision of your life. Now, if you need help to grow in your relationship with Jesus, please send an email to the address on the screen and we will be more than happy to assist you. God bless you. Have a great day, Father.